Yeah. Yeah, look at this windmill here. Spinning around. It's spin to win. And you know what? The name of the game is Company of Heroes 2, and this is a one versus one match. And I'm gonna cast it. Let's jump into it. In the blue, it is Isam playing as the Oster, and he is up against Elpern playing as America! Yeah! Bringing on the freedom and democracy here and hamburgers! Okay, maybe not. <laughs> But nevertheless, he is playing as Merica. We can see Isam here. He has brought in Spearhead Doctrine, immediately locking it in. Whereas Elpern, he's bringing along with him Tactical Support, Infantry Company, and Urban Assault Company. Okay, so no, no airborne or no rifle company, which is what we usually see in one versus one, uh, brought on to by uh, by the Americans. But hey, not in this case. And uh, bullet sense wise, extra accuracy for the mainline infantry for both of the players. Isam's grenadiers also fire faster, and the Panzerfaust uh, can be fired much further. Elpern, on the other hand, his yeah, his riflemen they reload faster, and then the bazookas have a little bit of extra range. Oof, shut down! Oh, losing two men, all for that piece of barbed wire. Well, denying that green cover there certainly is important, <laughs> but uh, uh, it kind of cost him a lot. Back to base. I don't know if you heard that, but that rifleman there, he uh, was talking about suppressive fire. Oh, grail. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, couldn't even afford the last man there, or... Mm. Budget cuts already. Finds the heavy machine gun here. It's setting up. Fire. Yeah, back to base here. Good. Good machine gun play here from Isam. And now Elpen is going to uh, defend his otherwise fuel point up here. And he'll be up against Grand Squad, Heavy Machine Gun, Pioneers. And yeah, he has three, make that two rear echelons to help defend him. The third one is carrying the uh, Minesweeper, which uh, is useless in a firefight. And melee combat is not a part of Company of Heroes 2. Oh, 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 gotta cut the wire, cut, cut it. Squish, squish, squish. Boom, there we go. A little bit of green cover, and, but this time around there, just gotta utilize the green cover that the enemy here has uh, provided for. <laughs> and, isn't this the ultimate insult here to those rear echelons? Just have the pioneers there <laughs> rebuild the barbed wire after they caught it. Uh, meanwhile, no success over here, and all the damage he's done has been for naught, you know, he's just getting healed, and how did he lose four riflemen, and not without killing anything? Were they really that low? Oh my, that's a, such a bad engagement there for Elpern. Hmm. Now... Let us see. We have some dudes just hiding down there. Heavy machine gun following in. He's trying to defend here. He should get down some suppressive fire here. He will get the decab. I'm sure of it. And just like that, closing time. The pioneers could actually have made it into uh, the capping circle, preventing the decap from happening. Anyway, Elpern. Getting back his fuel. Nice. Speaking of fuel, has he spent any fuel on... Uh, oh, come on. There we go. No, he has yet to unlock the mechanized platoon command post. So no vehicles available for Elpern yet. He is getting a 50 cal, however. Well, now what? 
Yeah, we got the 50 cal on the field. Isam moving up with his heavy machine gun. Managed to get some suppression in on the riflemen. And... Oh, yes. Take this garrison. There are a couple of windows uh, usable here, as we can see. One, two, three. Four, if we count that one. So, very nice garrison. However, there's just way too much fire here being thrown at this little hut. He does have the lieutenant sneaking in from behind here, forcing the heavy machine gun to react to it. But they are stuck behind this little sight blocker. They could perhaps go into the tower and fire over the bush. All men can actually fire from um, each of these windows here. It's just a unique property of uh, the sniper nest. Now, we are just waiting. Oh my, this is uh, actually a quite compact base build. There's the 222. We're getting a mid bunker as well here for ESAM. And even getting in some suppression there. A smoke grenade. Elpern checking smoke. And now he has indeed unlocked a mechanized platoon command post. Very good. Vehicles are available to him. And a steward would be very helpful versus the 222. And there it is. Up there. <laughs> wow. A second heavy machine gun already for Isam. That is unusual. Usually what we see people go for here is a pack gun. But maybe he's just feeling so certain of himself here that Elpen won't be bringing out any light vehicles. But he's gonna be in for a surprise. I, uh, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, everybody get together. Tactical hug. There we go. They have been healed. Oh boy. Oh. Bad position here from the 50 cal. No bazooka on the way though, but the steward is just exiting the base and heading up here. Should be here in a couple of seconds. One, two, and there it is. Trying to utilize armor piercing rounds here in order to get some damage in on the 222, but uh, 222 is long gone, and there it is. Pioneer Squad have laid down a cheeky telemine, and I do not think... Yeah, I don't think he spotted that in time. Oh, that made a huge splash. Uh, Minesweeper, they're busy. But yeah, this, uh, this steward here is diving deep. And... Oh no! He's been hit! Engine damaged! This is terrible for Elpen. I don't think he can escape this. Yeah. Pack gun has started firing. Even if he goes... He needs to go into hold fire mode here to have a ch chance, but... Uh, that was a slim chance nonetheless. Stuart. Ist kaput. Oh boy, oh boy. That guy... Got lucky. Also, Ilpern got lucky, but... Eh. And look at this! The 2 to 2 is just... Standing here... Pridefully... Watching the dead Stuart. Oh my god, and Ilpern here, he's just... He's just retreating so hard. Oh boy. I have to say, Isam, he has a great start here. And why is this guy running slow motion? There we go. Finally made it back to base. There are other maps, like on crossroads, where your infantry tends to 
retreat for 10 seconds longer as they try to reach a spot within the pizza base here and it's just terrible anyway Elpern got bars Sukas. so along with the 50 cal these boys here are gonna take down the 2-2-2 two, 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 or at least try to and Elpern locks in urban assault company giving him access to a molotovs or well incendiary devices as they are called here Smoke! Smoke deployed. Bust the move. Okay. Noticing the smoke here. The 2 2 2 is. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now it's pulling back. Fire! <laughs> Extra smoke. Well, that was kind of close. Meanwhile, down here. Oh, yeah, this is so quiet. I love it. Meanwhile, up here, fighting, shooting dead people is happening. You also see here that Isam, he has got the uh, LMGs for his men. Light machine guns here. They are very powerful at long range. Though they are ineffective on the move, as uh, the Grenadiers cannot fire their uh, light machine guns while moving. Enemy forces are securing our territory. That's a grenade. Yeah. Poof. The enemy is taking our territory. Oh, and a little bit of a grenade there, but it had some sort of effect, like the effect of scaring Isam away. We are losing a sector. Okay. So, um, doing a little busy capping down there. Did they spot the tiller mine? Well, if they did, it's still standing there. I hear the choo 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 and woo rangers yeah 300 points and counting down this is not a situation you want to be in with with usf which are supposed to be a strong early game here but esam he has just held on tight and beaten back elpern senior rounds coming in but so is the flank Hmm. Looking at the map, it is sort of evenly divided amongst the players, but that could change. We got Esam, he's ready to push out a tank here, and he's also getting a mortar to help him deal with the 50 cal, especially this garrison here. Hmm. There is a blind side, however, and that's on this side here, as there are no windows. All right, two to two back. Rangers equipped with stock weaponry, at least for now. And oh, is that going to be a sneaky grenade over there? No, I don't think so. There we go. The grenadiers are coming down there. They're going to do something about the lieutenant. Let's just get another view on the situation. There we go. Mine has been revealed. But I'm not sure if Elpern has spotted it. A grenade could come in, but it does not. And he retreats, leaving the telemine sitting there. And the pack gun is sitting up there and uh, <laughs> just chilling. Hello. Back to normal view. Oops, a doozy. That grenade there. Apparently from Elpern, he was counting on the Grens to move into it, but it just didn't happen. And Ilpern, he has he yet to take off? Yeah, this is so bad. His opponent is on his way with the first Panzer IV, and Ilpern has yet to 
Get the major out. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Right. One bar for this squad. <sighs> Trying to defeat uh, uh, these guys here. At least he has the benefit of, well, not the high ground, but green cover. Except for that guy. <laughs> Who is somewhat standing out in the open and we got cover to cover used somewhere here we go sprint <laughs> this sprint ability is works within the entire of the screen here it's just so huge telemine once again spotted but he is going for the big fish up there <sighs> the two 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 oh we see a little bit of the bazooka range coming in handy dandy here, but he needs something else right now. An answer to the Panzer IV. And a little bit of Miss Micro here. Oh, but saved by the Panzer Tactician. And Ilpern still without a major. Could get a wipe, maybe. We got Rangers here. They do more damage than riflemen. At least uh, with stock equipment. Both of them, that is. They're also harder to hit. And they do cost a lot more to reinforce. 34, I believe. Like six extra manpower for each model. And the 50 cal here is uh, not gonna do a dent into this Panzer IV. Well, we got the bazooka squad somewhere. They're here. It's pretty much uh, all that Ilpern has that keeps the Panzer IV from completely going havoc. That and then the rifle grenade. Speaking of which, anti-tank grenade. Yes. Yeah, Panzer IV needs to kite back bit by bit here. Those souks. They may not be the biggest damage dealer, but enough shots. And this Panzer IV here could go down. Oh, a little bit of smoke. And finally, Major is on the field, allowing Elpern to get tanks. But he still needs some fuel to get some of the uh, regular tanks out. Then there is, of course, the motor carriage, which is... A bit of a mobile artillery piece. Lieutenant has seen better days. No bazooka incoming on the lieutenant either. And these guys are clumped up. That's dangerous when the Panther Four is firing at you and the flamethrower. The more clumped up your men are, the more damage they'll take from uh, the flames here. Ah, the major. How, what? How is he walking? He's walking like. I don't know. I don't know what that was. And. Well, I don't know what happened there, but uh, something happened. On my screen, at least. It just turned on and off, but. Hopefully, you guys didn't uh, notice anything. But now we do notice. <laughs> Attack ground! Shoot! Hello? Okay, there we go. Job done. The enemy has driven a wedge in our lines. We got cover to cover was used. Probably, yeah, those guys that were sprinting in there. So, well done, Elpern. Taking down the Panzer IV with nothing but two bazookas. <laughs> Even the Zoo to Do survived longer than the Panzer IV. That's kind of an achievement. And now Elpern. Da -da 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 -da. He's bringing out the Sherman. And he is spending a little bit of extra manpower and fuel to upgrade it with the Doser. All right. He's going to level up. It does add a bit more durability to the Sherman. But it also makes it a little bit slower. Hold fire through the smoke. 
He is on high explosive shells here, deploying a bit of smoke there, allowing his infantry to move in. Uh, if it weren't for this heavy machine gun up here, which is... Uh... Whoa. Yeah, we just have a little bit of a... Fragmentation bombing run action. There we go. Dozer! 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 Look at it! Go! Over the mine! Oh, he didn't! All those time he revealed the mine, he never saw it. Or maybe he just forgot. <laughs> and is that main gun? Yeah, even the main gun is out. Oh. Okay, emergency repairs. No, he's going for regular repair here. Uh, the rear echelons. Yeah, okay, they're gonna help out. Good, good. Pack gun down. Two, two, two. Still standing. Standing still, that is. <laughs> I actually think this is a skin you earned when you complete the Ardennes Assault. Likewise with this bazooka bullet in here. It cannot be bored uh, as far as I remember. You have to earn it by completing the campaign, the Ardennes campaign. Or at least I think. Engine is almost fixed up. And there we go. Engine done. There's also a little bird in the sky. Should make it easier for the pack gun to pick its uh, target. Squishy, squishy! Ah, yeah, the dozer here. Not connecting with the squish. And look, another Panzer IV. Smoke coming out here. Courtesy of um, the Sherman, which is turning in. Oh no! 50 cal down, 50 cal down. These guys are no longer pinned. They are still suppressed, however. Back to base. And Elpern is back on armor piercing rounds here, trying to deal with the Panzer IV. And actually, he does a. Oh no! I was just about to say it did a good job. Ah. <sighs> Oh, you sneaky pack gun. But can we get an encore? Can these Sook boys do something about the Panzer IV? Probably not. It's driving way too fast. <laughs> okay, back to base. Ilpern here made a push and he is uh, getting pushed back. Counter push. Okay, um, back in base, we are seeing no pioneers are available to repair uh, the vehicles, but they are on their way. So that's something. I have something in my eye. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen any uh, incendiary grenades being thrown by Elpern. Hmm. Oh, smoke. I heard smoke. Nope, that wasn't smoke. That was a rifle grenade! And a disgusting one! Almost wiping the entire squad, but uh, the Grins were there with the LMG to just pick up the last model. <sighs> Oops. Rifleman here, they're gonna die rather badly. Rangers with Sooks? Well, only one. Was that a mistake? Not necessarily. He can still pop on two bars on these guys. As they have a lot of uh, weapon slots available to them. Spreading out, Rangers suppressed, Lieutenant is good, and he has to get in here. There's no window on this side, or, uh, well, okay, mm. he gets the grin out. 
Now getting in real close here. Remember the lieutenant. He is armed with a Thompson, which does a lot of damage up close. Right. He could benefit from the green cover there, but no. He decides to book it. Book him, Johnny. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, the captain is on the field. Uh, Elper has access to anti tank guns and is now getting out another Sherman, but takes down 2 2 2. That's so good. And now we have. What do we have? I'm just wondering. Well, there goes my screen again. And it's back. And, whoop! Grenadiers killed. Hmm, that is actually quite a bit of infantry here for Elpern. He's got Captain, Lieutenant, two rifles, and... A ranger squad here there is potential for a lot of bleeding with all these infantries here um, something that Ilpern could do is officer transfer orders just get get back the uh, send send his uh, captain back Two hundred points and counting. Not enough for grenades. Oh, smoke. Uh, what are you hoping to do here? Choke him to death? No, but it does indeed block them and helps Elpern get in here with his lieutenant so he can capture the point. Mortar is returning fire. Oh, and this little dozer here. Improves its durability and good thinking because up against two Panzer fours More souks. Okay, so it wasn't a misclick. That is uh, what's up with the The Rangers and souk There was a time where the people wouldn't even do it and now this is like the second match in uh, with, That we've seen in a uh, over a period of a uh, little time. Anyway. Oh my god. This Sherman here is in poor condition. Down here, Captain. Yeah, he's just getting uh, pinned back to base. It is Esam who is leading. When it comes to the victory points, at least for now, Elpen are holding the majority of them on the map here. Slowly but surely draining his opponent uh, of his remaining victory points. Walking straight into the heavy machine gun here as the smoke clears, but he gets around and has a grenade. <laughs> Point. One man. The gunner uh, hit by the grenade. The other gunner meant to replace him just got barred we do have double bars from some of these guys here i count three bars here hmm. and here we go sherman pushing in with 80 gun support right behind him and rangers but misses uh, that's just terrible the dozer is coming and okay we got some major artillery Oh, Grin lost. And suddenly Esam, who had been doing so well early game, is struggling against USF late game. He did build a munitions cache. Um... Oh boy, look at this. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to pick that up before you do. Now he just needs to retreat. Good. 
falling back falling back and Panzer Force has been repaired a tiny bit but not uh, fully repaired these soup boys here they're mad I'm telling you they're mad getting some, some rear armor shots here damaging the Panzer 4 uh, who are committed to uh, chasing down whatever Elpern has retreating and there's the Dosa standing over there it is within the circle of the recon plane but looks like the AT gun here defends oh that attack ground shot that was sick What Esam needs to do now is destroy this AT gun. And yeah, he is working on it, but here is Elpern to the rescue! Two of the rear echelons are here, don't know where the third guy is. Oh, there! Oh, it's actually the Major. Oh, okay, the Major is down there. <laughs> Elpern rescues his AT gun from destruction. He still has a little bit of health going. Getting in there, taking the green cover. Very good. And another Panzer IV arrives. Uh, but we got another Sherman here. It's also getting the dose of treatment at the cost of speed of mobility. Yeah. That dose of blade is a little heavy. Panzer Grenadiers are on the way now for uh, ESAM. Mm hmm. Okay, getting a little bit of smoke here. Cover from cover has been utilized. Um, Ranger, nope. Ranger should have retreated. Yikes. And there is a grenade on retreat, but off the mark completely. And now Elpen could lose this. Sherman deploying smoke there very well. Good job. They are at 200 points. This is a little dangerous here. <sighs> Woo! Main gun down. And a bit of pathing here as the Sherman tries to disengage. Yeah, goodbye, gun crew. Completely toast. Destroyed. Whoa, 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 what the? Wow. Always remember to stretch after exercising. <laughs> well, the captain is still alive. The squad, that is. Uh, repair, 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 and yeah, Isam here. He has uh, he has spent his fuel reserves. Elpern still has some fuel. Pa another Panzer Grenadier squad is on the way. Okay, gonna see those Sturmgewehrs in action. Ah, pinned. Back to base. Meanwhile, let's see. Oh! We are losing Soldaten. Yeah. Elpern and his riflemen doing some heavy lifting here. But more lifting needs to be done. The game is not over yet. It is Elpern leading uh, VP wise. Where are the pack guns? They are coming up there. Just gonna shoot. That's one hit in, followed by another volley. Double smoke being deployed here. Okay, there is a little opening there. Oh, what do you know? 
He's actually... He's just shooting through there. Okay, looks like the smoke is now covering it. Meanwhile, down here, one Sherman is trying to make an escape. The Panzer IV here with its damaged engine can't really give chase. And the rear echelons are getting slaughtered by the Panzer Grenadiers. And that was surprisingly, they lived. What? Oh, that's a lock. <laughs> what a beautiful lock it was. Hello. Here he comes. Little Sherman. The Sherman Calliope. And all its rockets. Looks like we're getting into the excitement. Still have this one here getting repaired. It's miles away from getting fully repaired. And Esam, I don't know what he's doing here. Ordering them to move across the cabin circle. Okay. Yeah, retreating through the rocket fire, <clears throat> dashing through the snow. Not exactly. Hmm. And he even got high explosive shells loaded on some of his Shermans right now. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Isam, he is about to uh, have saved up for another tank. Probably just going to be Panzer IV. Yeah, just the Panzer IV. Good versus the Shermans and infantry. Wouldn't really recommend the Stuck in uh, this situation here. I just think a Panzer IV is better. Oh, counter grenade. Boom, they're dead. No, one man survives. Whoa, okay. Hmm, another grenade. Wow, that is grenade valley. And here comes the AT grenade. Not enough to actually cause engine damage on one of the Panzer fours. And wow, maybe he should go for a Stuck instead. Ah, there's a penetrating shot. And we got another Sherman coming down from up north. AT guns are also there, but they're getting a uh, decrewed. Bounce again. What? What is that dozer blade made of? Titanium? We got the Calliope firing, uh, shooting there. Captain dead. Oh boy. The pack gun was just drawing fire at that time. Uh. Oh, this is going to die. And the other Panzer IV. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh. No, and this pack gun targeting the healthy one. That's so bad. Well, he gets one German. Hooray. <laughs> Meanwhile, these guys. Are, okay. Action. Um. Yeah, he can't go for the Tiger, so it's going to be another Panzer IV if he... Well, looking at the replay time here, he is actually going to continue. And he has just gifted his opponent a pack. That's so bad. Thirty-two pop cap versus sixty-seven. That's not great. That's actually kind of bad. <clears throat> no matter how you... Oh, could be a wipe. Again, one dude survives. No, kill him! Ah, okay, he got him. Oh, but this Panzer Grenadier, his retreat path is met with the lieutenant and 
The rifleman there, and no smoke available yet. The uh, mortar just came back home, but okay, he may just make it. Enough health, come on! He made it. <sighs> a little bit of an overview for the Panzer IV. Pick your targets. Oh, he knows that the Sherman is down here and Elpern is not repairing it yet. And why is it sitting there? Are there any AT guns down there? There is a pack gun. Oh, let's get going. Uh-oh. Get in that Panzer. Get in the tank. One shot is needed. One penetrating shot. Hits a mine and he misses and there it is the back gun over here. It's going to be bad. Well, I think that was the last effort here for me, Sam. As he is left with 24 points, losing a Grin squad. I think he has indeed left the game and Ilper not reacting either here, just making me think that yeah this game is over Esam has dropped and we're just waiting for the game to realize it no he's actually retreating uh no way no way but he's not reinforcing either so yeah this this game has to be over Right? Germans are on the ropes. If he's is he seriously gonna go for a Stuk here? The Stu no, he's gone. Playback over. And that would be it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And if you're still around, got these beautiful stats here for you. Let's just uh, have a quick look at them. Hmm, yeah. Don't think there are any surprises here. Um, Isam doing most damage and killing. Had a positive KD though, unlike Ilpern. But that's how the Soviet goes. Uh, not Soviets, uh, USF goes. Graphs. Graphs. I can see Isam, he definitely had his moments also keeping it up with Elpern here in the early game but Elpern he came back swinging and he swung hard resource float being resource float and here we see the points held seeing as how Isam here definitely dominated up till the late game when surprisingly Elpern he came back with a vengeance Anywho, that'll be all. See you. Goodbye.